hello friends welcome back to my channel it Parivar. so guys in this video today i will show you about this error uh like how you can fix this error if you are going to join your pc to the domain and if you are getting this error the specified network name is no longer available okay so i'll show you how you can fix this issue few steps we need to check a uh, few options few settings we need to validate first okay so what you need to what you need to check first on your pc uh to which you are going to join to the domain you need to go to the run and uh, ncpa.cpl and you have to check the your ethernet configuration okay if ip configuration is okay or not so just need to go to this okay this part should be okay but you need to verify that okay so here you can you what you need to uh, verify first you need to check if your preferred dns uh, uh, server ip is correct or not it should be your uh, domain controller ip it should be your domain ip okay so here in my case it is okay 10.10.11 uh, you can see this is my domain controller and this domain controller ip is 10.10.11 let me minimize this so if network configuration uh, I, part is okay okay uh, what you need to validate you need to check 10.10.5 this is the same range of ip okay of your domain controller same range of domain controller ip if not then you need to make sure the network flow is open right like uh, you need to do the telnet uh, let me go to cmd okay first you need to ping your domain controller if it is reachable or not ping 10.10.10 10.11 okay sorry ip is incorrect yes so see it is pinging means do your domain controller if it is pinging means domain controller is reachable okay now sometimes your domain controller will be uh, reachable means it will be pinged but few ports will be blocked right so you need to do telnet telnet 10.10 sorry 10.10.10.11 and the space like you need to check 53 port you can see if it is getting blank that means uh port is opened okay so just close this reopen cmd okay and in same way you need to uh, check the ports like i uh, let me type here 53 uh, 389 uh 137 139 and 135 if all these ports are opened then there should not be a network flow issue or network port block issue okay and you need to do in same way uh like i did uh 453 port okay so just do telnet and check or uh, if all ports are opened okay most probably port will be opened the main root cause will be uh, i will show you what will be the main root cause so let me just say okay and then close this okay now as we validated network flow is okay ne network ports are not blocked all ports are required ports are opened and uh, ip configuration is okay so why we are getting still that error okay what you need to go you need to uh, sorry what you need to do you need to go to your uh, domain controller and on your domain controller you need to validate few things 
you need to open powershell here first okay and run this command git hyphen smb server configuration hit enter so once you will hit enter by type this command git hyphen smb server configuration you need to check the enable smb1 protocol and enable smb2 protocol status so here you can see enable smb1 protocol is false enable smb2 protocol is false that means on your dc or on my dc the smb1 and smb2 protocol is disabled okay but any one is in uh, smb should be enabled on your domain controller okay so to enable that what you need to do you need to run this command set hyphen smb server configuration space hyphen enable smb uh, enable smb1 sorry let's enable smb2 and this is latest protocol enable smb2 protocol space dollar and set it to true if now this is set to false okay you can see this is set to false here now let's set it to true it is asking why yes a yes to all so you can press y or a just okay let's check again by running this get smb server configuration command if it is set to true or not so enable smb uh one second yes enable smb protocol is set to true now you can see okay now let's close this let's minimize and let's try to rejoin system to the domain so let's say okay let us enter credential and say okay see welcome to the it parivar domain so now we are not getting that error means the root cause was smb protocol which was disabled or which was set to false on the domain controller okay so in same way you need to check your smb configuration or smb protocol status on your domain controller okay if you are using multiple domain controllers so you need to check the nearest domain controller or your machine to which it is it is pointing okay so you need to check on that domain controller the smb protocol status and if it is set it to set to false you need to set it to true and then you, you need to try to join your pc okay and definitely uh, this this uh, issue will issue will be fixed okay so you can see here now it is asking to restart so i will restart but i will if restart this system the recording will be stopped so i hope this uh, this will be uh, clear to you how you can fix this issue so i will restart this later on okay but i'll request you to uh, please subscribe my channel and if you have any query or concerns please feel free to drop a comment definitely um, i will try to reward thanks for watching it parivar bye bye